Hello, in this video, I'm going to talk about the vulva. So the vulva is also referred to as the pudendum. Uh, so that is the external genitals of the female. Um, so I wanna point out that commonly um, looking at the external genitalia of a female, someone might say vagina, uh, but the vagina is internal. So that is not at all what we're looking at here. Uh, here we can see the opening to the vagina, which is what is being pointed to in this picture here. It's the opening to the vagina and then the vagina is an internal tube. Um, but what we're seeing here is the external genitalia, which is the vulva. Uh, so the vulva includes all of the structures that are external. So that includes the mons pubis, that's sort of the hill of adipose tissue that covers the pubic symphysis and the anterior side. Uh, then the labia majora are sort of the larger, more lateral lips. Uh, so two longitudinal folds of skin that extend down and back. Uh, the labia minora are the two thinner folds that are medial to the labia majora. And the clitoris, um, and we'll talk more about the clitoris in the next slide, uh, but it's a small cylindrical mass of erectile tissue and nerves at the anterior junction of the labia minora. So in this picture, this small thing here would be the clitoris. And we'll talk about that again in a minute. Uh, and then the vestibule is the region between the labia minora so that would be this whole region here and everything that it contains. So we'll talk about that in more detail also. Okay, so the clitoris. Um, so here is just the classic textbook definition. Uh, as I just mentioned, a small cylindrical mass of erectile tissue and nerves at the anterior junction of the labia minora. Uh, it includes the prepuce, which is the fancy word for foreskin. So males and females both have a foreskin or a prepuce. Uh, it's a layer of skin formed at a point where the labia minora unite and cover the body of the clitoris. And the glands, also we have males and females, both have a glands, uh, and that's like the head. Uh, it's the exposed portion of the clitoris that is capable of enlargement upon sexual stimulation. Okay, so this is the textbook definition, um, and there it is in the picture there. Uh, but it has been discovered, not even that recently, it's been a couple decades now, um, that the clitoris is actually much larger and more extensive than that tiny little external portion here that, that we've been taught about. Um, if we look in the picture down here, this entire structure is all the clitoris but only this little part is what is external. So this little external part is what is here in this above picture. Um, and that's what is usually described as the clitoris, but there's a gigantic internal portion. So this whole wishbone sort of shaped thing and these bulbs that are medial to that wishbone, this is all very sensitive, erogenous, erectile tissue. Uh, so this whole structure, the bulbs and this sort of wishbone part are all made out of the exact same type of tissue that the penis is made of. So all of that is capable of filling with blood and becoming very stiff and, and erect. Um, and uh, it's very sensitive to stimulation and causes a great amount of pleasure. It's full of nerves that are very pleasurable. And in between these bulbs, uh, we have the urethral opening and the vaginal opening. So it makes sense that during intercourse that there would be stimulation of the clitoris when, the, when there's intercourse taking place and there's friction and pressure against the bulbs of the clitoris that are surrounding it. Um, so also if we look at the top here where we see the external portion of the clitoris, this is in sort of a flaccid position and then during arousal, this tissue would all fill with blood and stiffen just like in a male during an erection. And so it would actually go from this sort of curved shape and straighten out a little bit. Um, and when it does that, it actually brings it further underneath the foreskin. So it becomes more hidden under the foreskin during arousal, which is exactly when somebody would be trying to find it. 
Okay, the vestibule, uh, the region between the labia minora, and that would include everything that's in that region. So it contains the hymen if it's present. Uh, that would be a small fold of mucous membrane that could be present a centimeter or two into the, the opening of the vagina. Uh, the vaginal orifice, so that is just the proper name for the opening of the vagina. The external urethral orifice, so the opening of the urethra. And then the opening of a few different ducts, so the periurethral glands that are secreting mucus to help lubricate the opening of the urethra, and the greater vestibular ducts that secrete mucus during sexual arousal for lubrication during intercourse. Okay, that is all I have for you in this video. Thanks so much for watching.